African scholars, political leaders and civil society have for centuries worked towards the emancipation of the continent, first from the colonizers, then poor governance, conflict and leaders who hold on to power for decades. Revered African pioneers like Ali Mazrui, Wallace Soinka, Eskiam Patlele and many others have consistently called upon Africans to take on the challenge of leading the continent and to develop sustainable economies and good governance. One such initiative has culminated in the launch of the African Leadership Academy. The academy has recruited 16 to 19 year old students from different African countries to groom them for leadership. We're now joined in the studio by Dele Olujede, who is the first African to win the Pulitzer Prize, as well as Belinda Munemo, a student at the academy. Dele, Belinda, good morning to both good of you. Morning. Good morning. Welcome, thank you for joining us. First, Dele, what is a Pulitzer Prize? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. First of all, it's, it's old. Yeah. Um, because I think I won this four years ago or something, but uh, it's generally regarded as the highest uh, honor in journalism. And I was happy to take it for yeah. years. For what piece was it? I did a whole series of uh, stories on Rwanda's aftermath of the genocide, uh, basically exploring the thesis of how does a society stitch itself back together again. Yeah, is that society uh, succeeding? I think they are succeeding yeah. and actually it's one of, I think one of the great stories in Africa right now. This is, is a leadership a, issue yes, as well? Yes, it is a clear leadership issue okay. and uh, it's, it's extraordinary how far they've come from where they were uh, 15 years ago. Yeah. yeah, Belinda, tell us about this leadership institute, how did you get involved with it? Well, um, African Leadership Academy is a school that is dedicated to train the next generation of African leaders. And I applied to come to the school when I was back in Zimbabwe last year. And their qualities, I met their criteria, and I got selected as one of the 97 students of the inaugural class. Yeah, what yes. did you have to do in your application? Did you have to write an essay, or what was the application consisting of? Oh, yes, the, the application included essays and also results for academics as well, because they also consider academic excellence. But more importantly, the essays were about yourself and your commitment to service and just generally what you've done for your community at such a young age. What have you done? Mm -hmm. Well, um, when I was 15 years old, I started an agricultural project for an orphan, an orphan-headed family in Zimbabwe. And that was really a highlight of my life because I managed to help this girl, her name was Anna, to sustain herself and to also return back to school, which she couldn't because she had been forced into a life of begging for food. And I just discovered to myself, why not do something for her? So with the help of the community and my agriculture teacher and also my mother, I helped her to initiate an agricultural project. And she also managed to sustain herself and to help her family. No, oh, fantastic. Dele, tell us about what you bring to the academy. Well, I'm just a supporter and a booster, really. Uh, I came to uh, give a talk at the launch event on Saturday and I know the uh, founders and extraordinary people trying to do something really sort of long uh, view into the future project that will help to build step by step the kind of things we need to have on this continent. And I see this as just an extraordinary collection of young people. You can see how articulate uh, and well-spoken uh, that she is. Uh, and, and she's just uh, one of them. Because mm. if you meet all the other students, I mean, just extraordinary, you'll be completely astonished. It's a fantastic pool uh, of at the, at the level of quality, this is the sort of thing that gives you hope that whether a generation has failed or not, which uh, the jury is still out, these ones are going to do it. Yeah. So the idea is to catch them now and begin to plan for the next 50 years, not constantly looking at crisis situations and trying to scramble uh, to solve them. Yeah. Belinda, I mean, coming from Zimbabwe, you probably get this question all the time about mm -hmm. what do you think of the Zimbabwean leadership situation right now? Okay, hey, well, um, yes, you're right. I always do get this question a lot of times. But I think that Zimbabwean leadership is lacking in many areas. And I think one important thing that I've learned at the academy is that leadership lacks integrity. Leadership in my country lacks integrity and trust. And I think that would just be the first step, building trust with each other, building trust with the people. And the people, as well as the government, will help to serve the community and to improve the community. And so I think integrity and trust is the key thing that mm. the government lacks. Yeah. What do you want to do? I mean, leadership 
fits into different areas, isn't it? There's business leadership, there's just leadership in the community, in the church, in government. Where do you see yourself? Okay, well, I'm very passionate about medicine and I would like to start to build a network of hospitals all around the African continent in areas where health is out of reach mm. to decrease them like to decrease to increase the maternity rate and to decrease the mortality rate yeah. that's really my hope and also i would also hope to see my dying day when the hiv aids cure has been found oh fantastic do you have any doubt in your mind now no, that zimbabwe is going to come back <laughs> <laughs> who's your favorite leader have you got a favorite leader Yes, my favorite leader is Ellen Johnson Sirleaf because I think she's challenging the status quo yeah. and she's just showing excellence in all that she does and I really admire her and it shows me and inspires me as a young woman that women can make it in African society. All right. Thank you, Belinda. Thank you very much, Dele, for your support as well for the initiative. Belinda Munemo is with the African Leadership Academy joining us this morning. Leanne?